And Lloyd, while we have you, I've got to ask you if, if what you your takeaways from the game one of Knicks Hawks and Trey Young's performance at the Garden. You know, it's it's what Trey does. Um, you know, I think the team. I, I have a hard time seeing New York beat Atlanta. I think the team is healthy at the right time. Atlanta, that is. I, I think they have scoring options starting. I think they have scoring options off the bench with Lou, Lou uh, Williams, Kevin Herter. Um, and, and, you know, if any game is close, you always ask your best player uh, to be capable of, of creating a shot and creating a shot to win it. And, and that's what Trey is to Atlanta. And, and he's done that a million times since day one. I think our very first preseason when I was coaching, we played San Antonio. He comes down and he hits like a 30, 40 foot bomb at the at the you know at the at the buzzer to win the game. We're playing at Georgia Tech, so that, he's not shy at the moment at all. And so, uh, really happy for the organization, happy for him. I think he, 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 this is an opportunity to really help him mature and grow as a player. Uh, but they got a really good team, and and I, I think for me, I think they're the favorites to win that series. Uh, but no, you know, and, and, and like what, when Jay asked me, for me, coaching is about, you know, playing seeds, being competitive with the guys, and, and really trying to fulfill that vision. Uh, but you also have to understand, as a coach, you, you understand this part of the business. And for me, I'm just happy for those guys that they were getting the moment that we talked about. Oh. Sucks that I'm not with it, but it's just kind of the nature of it. I feel you on that, LP. I, I need to ask you, because I know you were – obviously around the team each and every day. And I, I know how relentless you are in breaking down tape and talking about the strengths and weaknesses of players. So now with you being kind of an analyst and being on NBA TV and doing what you're doing, tell me how you would stop Trey Young. How do the Knicks stop <laughs> Trey Young? How, what adjustments do they need to make, Lloyd? Yeah, you know, and I think it's, it's similar to what you're seeing with Portland and, and, and Denver. You know, there's been a lot made about trying to make Jokic be a scorer, not so much a facilitator. You do, you you know, at, at this level, you have to you have to concede something. At the end of the day, the team is going to score 100 points on you defensively, right? Like, you know, however great your defense is, you still just gave up 100. I think you have to do that with all great players. And for 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 New York and, and playing Atlanta, you know, it starts with Trey, and you have to. A, either limit his touches completely, like you saw the other day. Uh, I'm trying to think of what game that was where they were just denying someone all over the place. Uh, well, you just you either just take him out of the game completely and deny him the basketball, or you, you, you figure he's either going to be a facilitator tonight or we're just going to force him to be a scorer. But he can't score 30 and get 10 assists and play a pick and roll all game. And, and just really collapse your defense. You got to take something away, whether it's switching every pick and roll and saying throw it to Clint Capella all night, uh, or you know just being ultra aggressive and making others have to beat you. But I think you have to really come up with something to concede. He's going to do something well. We got to take away everything else, and, and it's either to really take away his facilitating and make him be a scorer. Mm. One thing you know, Tom Thibodeau was probably up till 4 a.m. watching film, coming up with exactly yeah. that plan for Game Two. There's no doubt about it. Lloyd, we appreciate your insight. Oh, yeah, we appreciate your insight, and obviously uh, uh, for uh, all the information you gave us, and of course for the time. Thank you so much. All right, you guys take care. Thanks, Lloyd. Lloyd appreciate Pierce you. On the Goodyear Hotline, brought to you by Goodyear, helping you discover the road ahead. Goodyear, more driven. KJZ presented by Progressive Insurance, and yes, that, that's what I said, Jay. Go ahead, Trey Young. Take those 40-footers. Yeah. Take them. Yeah. Just go ahead. And and, and and turn it into a situation where other players on his team are like, I'm not getting enough touches. Like, what's going on? Yeah, let them be cold. Right, exactly. Let them be cold. Let them get frustrated. Let, let Trey Young score 40 or 50. I don't care. Limit the 10 other assists, you know, triple-double. Like, yeah, you score. I just got to keep you out of the paint and let you shoot those 35-footers. Exactly. That's okay with me. And if you hit five of them, God bless you. Yes. But not every, nobody else is going to get into rhythm. I'm with you because the way you guys another. defended that pick and roll, abysmal. Not really good. Abysmal. Not good. How did Frank Nilakina do on that last possession? Yeah. Not good. He will not be in tonight's game. All Tomorrow's right. game. We <clears> shall <throat> see. Move along. All right. That's too much basketball for Keyshawn. So, a Super Bowl too champion. Much no, too much Knicks. Who says Julio <laughs> Jones, never enough Knicks. And Aaron Rodgers can learn something from the NBA. You can learn something. From the NBA, we'll discuss that Don't next. KJZ, please, yes, you. you and you, you. you're the problem. <laughs>